Hello everyone, welcome to another video tutorial. Today I will show you how to create proxies in Premiere Pro. Now, if you don't know, basically proxies are, uh, a proxy video is essentially a smaller copy of your raw videos. As you can see, the result is much smaller file which can be used during your editing. So this is basically what proxies are. Now, as mentioned, for example, right here, 4K video files are massive and proxies will help you with lowering amount of megabytes, gigabytes, whatever, right? And basically here it is how you can create a video proxy. So what you need to do is you need to select all the footage you want to create proxies for within the timeline. So this is right here within the timeline uh, and you can go right click and then here as you can see you have proxy and you can create proxies based on that. Now as you can see if we create proxies, you'll see that Adobe Media Encoder is not installed. So make sure you installed Adobe Media Encoder. Now, once you have that, you'll be able to go and create proxies as you can see. Now, in the new window, you can select the codec, either H264 or QuickTime. You can use whatever you want. Then in presets, select the one that works best for you. Then below, you can choose the destination for your proxies. Make sure to choose the destination where you want. Click OK, and then Adobe Media Encoder will open up and start rendering up the proxies immediately. Now, once all the exports are done, the proxy files will be automatically linked in Adobe Premiere Pro. You can go ahead and close Media Encoder. So as you can see, how do you switch between proxies and original files? Now, once your proxy files have been created, you can turn them on, right? So uh, basically, you can turn it on, head over to your program window, navigate to the playback controls, uh, and then on the right side, you will see a plus icon. Click on the plus sign and find the toggle proxies button. And this is basically the plus sign, how it's going to look like. Then drag and drop toggle proxy button into the playback controls bar. And that's pretty much it. So that's basically how you can create proxies in a Premiere Pro. If you have any questions or comments, comment down below and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.